Park officials make predictions of times to the next eruption of a particular geyser and collect data for the errors in minutes in those predictions. The display from technology available below results from using the prediction errors to test the claim that the mean prediction error is equal to zero. Comment on the accuracy of the predictions. Use a 0.05 significance level, identify the null and alternative hypotheses, test statistic, p-value, and state the final conclusion that addresses the original claim. So we are first to find the null and alternative hypotheses. We know that the null hypothesis always contains zero, so we can eliminate A. The claim is that the mean prediction error is equal to zero. Anything greater than zero or less than zero would not be equal to zero. So our alternative hypothesis should be that the mean is not equal to zero. So we will select C. Now identify the test statistic. If we click on this icon, then we can see the results. It says that the observed t-value is minus 7.65. Now we are to identify the p-value. Again, consulting the output, we have a p-value that is less than 0.0001. We are to round to three decimal places. Well, out to three decimal places, this is zero. Now it says state the final conclusion that addresses the original claim. Since our p-value is less than alpha, alpha is 0 0.05, then we are going to reject the null hypothesis. Since we are going to reject the null hypothesis, we will be rejecting the claim that the mean production error is equal to zero. So there is sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean prediction error is not zero minutes. There is some error in the mean prediction.